Hello students good morning i am your educator dalsi and today we are going to start the main phase that is the metaphase of the cell cycle in which the nuclei of the cell it undergoes division it means there is division of the nuclei in the m phase so uh, depending upon the type of division the m phase comprises of different type of events m phase is usually of two types first one which undergo the equational division and the other which undergo the reductional division so on that basis division is of usually of a two type first is said to be the meiotic division and second is said to be the mitotic division in the mitotic division the equational division means the amount of dna in the progeny cells and as well as in the parent cell it remain the same if it is same the division is said to be equational division and this type of division is said to be mitotic division and as you know all your somatic cells of your body they undergo mitotic division uh, during the period of their replication or growth in comparison with the equational division second division is said to be the reductional division which takes place in the germ cells only that is it occurs in the gonads which result in formation of the germ cell and that type of division is known as meiotic division so so primarily first we have done with the mitotic division it is divided into four main stages first one is prophase second is metaphase third one is anaphase and the last one is the telophase following the telophase the division of the cytoplasm takes place that is called the cytokinesis next is the first phase of the mitotic phase that is the m phase of the cell cycle that is pro phase as you know the cell moves or starts from g1 phase then it move toward the s phase ultimately to the g2 phase after the g2 phase as the amount of dna get doubled and all the protein molecules that are required during the division of the cells they get double so the pro phase starts at the an entry step of the m phase what happens in the m phase the chromosomal material it become condensed means the dna is present in the form of chromatin in the cells that is in the interphase with the condensation the dna it coils or it rounds up and ultimately during m phase metaphase it change up into a complex type of chromosome so the first stage of condensation of the genetic material it starts in the pro phase as you know in the synthetic phase the amount of dna get doubled so uh, in initiation of the pro phase first the replicated dna undergoes condensation second the polar uh, the at the poles the moment of the uh, centrioles the body of centrosome starts because as you know nuclei will never divide if the centrioles are not present at the opposite poles of the cell next is uh, these are the characteristic event that occurs during the pro phase first one is the chromosomal material it condenses or it compact to give rise to a chromosome so the condensation of dna takes place as you know uh, each chromosome comprises of a centromere then chromatid are present at the tip so the chromosome are seen to be composed of chromatids which are joined together at a centromere ultimately uh, the important point for the division of nuclei is the formation of the mitotic spindles or the astral rays which move the chromosome to the opposite side required for the separation of genetic material so that are result of uh, the microtubules the formation of microtubules occurs with the deposition of the tubulin protein that tubulin protein start to accumulate in the cytoplasm and ultimately it is responsible for the separation of the chromatids next at the end of the at the end of the prophase what happen 
all the organelles whether the golgi complex whether the endoplasmic reticulum whether the nucleolus and the nucleo envelope means all the type of organelles get disappeared which leads to the appearance or the clear cut appearance of the genetic material or the chromosome in the cytoplasm the important point here is the disappearance of the nucleolus and the nuclear envelope which leads to complete and clear uh, representation or expression of the chromosome in the cytoplasm next step is the metaphase so what is metaphase as you know um, uh, the disintegration or the disappearance of the nuclear envelope it starts at the end of the prophase it continues later and the nuclear envelope completely disintegrate in the metaphase of the cell cycle so metaphase is the second stage and if you know it is the best state to observe the exact morphology of the chromosome because at the metaphase chromosome gain their morphology at the best as mentioned here it is the stage at which the morphology of chromosome can be easily studied at this stage what we observe that each chromosome comprised of two sister chromatids which are held together at the centromere so centromere is the point of uh, their interaction or the point at where they converge around the centromere the kinetochore the protein bodies are present and these kinetochores are the site where the microtubular structure attaches so for the division of the nuclei the important point is the separation of chromatids for the separation of chromatids the important point is the site of attachment of the spindle fiber should be exact so if the spindle fiber do not get attached the specific place that is the kinetochore no equational division of the chromatids will takes place so the characteristic of the metaphase is the attachment of the spindle fibers to the kinetochores that result in the interaction with the centromere and ultimately the division of the chromatids takes place at the metaphase the chromosome get arranged at the equator at the equatorial line so that the centrioles uh, which emerge spindle fibers from both the pole they expose or they uh, exert a specific kind of force that is equal from both the poles if the force is equal only then the separation of the chromatids takes place next is what is the metaphasic plate so the it is the plane or the alignment plane uh, or the central plane where the chromosomal attach that is at the equator so metaphase plate is nothing it is the plate at which the chromosome are aligned at the metaphase of the cell so that the spindle get, from both the poles get attached to the chromosome and the separation of the chromosome take place so uh, the characteristic feature of uh, the metaphase are first is the attachment of the spindle fibers to the kinetochore of the chromosome and next is the moment of the chromosome to the spindle equator so that the chromosome which are aligned at the metaphasic plate should move equally towards the opposite pole so that the chromosome of dna divide equationally that's why the uh, division is said to be equational so today we have done only two phases first one is prophase and second one is two uh, the metaphase as is shown in the diagram in the early prophase the dna is present in the form of uncondensed intertwined chromatins which finally undergo condensation and gain the structure of a condensed chromosome in the late prophase and the disappearance of organelles and the nuclear pore it starts at the late prophase but what happens at the metaphase that is very important in the metaphase first the chromosome they move to align at the metaphasic plate that is the equator so that the centrioles present at both the poles they exert equal force at via attachment through kinetochores which favor the separation of the chromosome tomorrow we will start up with the anaphase and then we finally undergo telophase and cytogenesis thank you